The final day of campaigning before the first presidential election in Egypt since the fall of Hosni Mubarak. At the campaign headquarters of Abdel Menam Abu Futuh, his political advisor Amr Salah refines their program. For 15 years, Salah was also a member of Egypt's Muslim Brotherhood, but he decided to follow Abu Futuh when he was expelled from the group last year after declaring his candidacy. The Muslim Brotherhood had repeatedly said it would not put forward a member for the elections. Even though I disagreed with it initially, I began to understand the Muslim Brotherhood's decision. This way they wouldn't concentrate power or frighten Egyptians and Westerners. But I was surprised when they decided to do the opposite. Though the Muslim Brotherhood's decision to field Mohamed Morsi as a candidate risks splitting the Islamist vote between him and Abu Futuh, analysts predict that the pair's popularity will see one of them through to the next round if none of the 12 candidates gain a majority first time. We can't say that they'll end up out of the race because they'll have another opportunity in the second round. Even though some surveys put them in third or fourth position, anything can still happen. Hardline Islamists are also looking to a decisive second round, which would be held in early June. It won't split the vote because they will unite in the second round. If it ends up with an Islamist candidate against a candidate from the former regime, who we became fed up with, then the votes will be in favor of the Islamist candidate. Mohamed Morsi leads the race for Egypt's presidency among overseas voters. But expatriates only account for a small percentage of the 52 million voters whose choice is still up for grabs.